what's going on everyone Tim here with you and I thought I'd do another game to kind of go along with the current Red Dead story run that way I don't get burnt out on one or the other so I've decided to do the fisherman fisherman fishing planet now I play classic fishing planet in fact I've been playing classic Fishing Planet for God years now, uh, but the thing with Classic Fishing Planet is, unless you're actually interested in the sport and you're willing to invest real money into the game, you're not going to get real far. Um, and I think the creators realized that, and they created this little gem, which is a little disc version. Of the same game that you can get online but it's made simpler a little more direct things don't cost as much so you don't have to do as much grinding leveling up is a bit easier it's made better for somebody that maybe you know wants to give it a try or is willing to give it a try but don't want to invest a lot of real life money into the game so I happen to have this version, um, and I thought, well, this will make a pretty good secondary live stream series to do. And I'm wanting to start streaming about three to four days a week. But, you know, I make no promises. I'm not willing to promise or commit to any certain time frame because, first and foremost, I am a stepfather of four. I'm a husband. I am a full-time employee. I'm busy. I'm also, in real life, a, uh, I very much enjoy catfishing. I'm a catfish angler, and I enjoy catfishing. I haven't done any tournaments yet, but I'm seriously considering it very soon. Um, so I, I enjoy the, that sport in real life too. So a lot of times during the scene, spring, summer, and fall, when the weather's nice, I'm going to be out on the lake, not necessarily at home. But I want to try to stream about three to four days a week, at least for a couple of hours. So that I can complete some of these projects. That's always been my biggest weakness when it comes to this stuff. Is I have a bad tendency not to complete projects. And well, I don't want that. So let's get started. I've babbled on long enough. I do appreciate anybody that's took the time to watch any of the videos I've done in the last little while. Or any of the live streams. And I invite you, when you get the chance, to... Uh, I invite you to, you know, subscribe or, you know, just do, you know, if you're interested in knowing more or whatever, I certainly invite you to subscribe to my channel. And... Right now, I need... Because... Let me see if I can start a new game here. Alright. Hmm. Trying to figure out how to start this for over fresh. Let's see if there's something under the settings maybe. Yeah, here we go. We're going to reset it. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. Alright. Now I can start a fresh game. So I'm going to start this game. I bought it. Even though I played a little bit of it. 
This is also a good way to teach to learn to fish. This game is very realistic when it comes to learning to fish or doing real life fishing. In fact, some of the things I do out on the actual lake I picked up from playing this game. Uh, some of the baits and ideas and things of that nature. So it's sort of, it's, it's a really good fishing simulator. And what I really like about it is it's not just one type of fish. It's not catfish, it's not just bass. They put panfish in it. They put all types of catfish, all types of bass, all types of, you know, deep sea fish, things of that nature in Florida and California. The game really kind of covers many and almost all species of fish. Alright, so now that I'm starting over, it should take me into a tutorial to start off with, which is fine. That's kind of what I was wanting it to do. That way I can kind of explain the concept of fishing. Um... Once we get done with some of these early tutorials, we'll actually be able to do just our own fishing whenever and wherever we like. So, yeah, unfortunately it takes it a minute to load. There we go. Now, I'm not going to change my character around. I don't really need to. Well, maybe I will change his pants. He looks kind of goofy. I don't like any of the clothes they offer, though. I think it's funny that you can change his pants, but you can't change his... what he's wearing. As far as the top, the shirt he's wearing, which is kind of weird to me. Alright, whatever. I don't care much about what about character creation in this game because you really don't. You spend more time fishing. It doesn't matter what you create the character to look like. It's all the same. But, I mean, you can be creative if you so desire, by all means. I know some people take pleasure in that part of it. Alright, so it gives you your first steps mission. So here we go. You move around the shoreline with your L stick, just like normal. That'd be anywhere on any map. You just kind of move around with your L stick. So we're going to approach the shoreline like it tells us to do. And it's going to tell us to cast at the ring here by pressing R2. So just kind of put yourself in the direction of it and press R2 and there you go. You're in the ring. And it's got us using bread and a number 8 hook. That'll become a lot more detailed as we go. Yeah, there we go. So when you get a strike, you're going to press L2 to lift your rod up and R2 to reel it in. So we caught a green sunfish. That was the first fish we caught in the game. We're going to release him. And now, this is just trying to get you kind of used to it. So we're going to do a few more casts and catch a few more fish on this bread bait. It'll lead basically pan fish. You do kind of want So, yeah, we'll do it one more time here. Again, this is just an introduction to the fishing, just telling you how to, how to, you know, you got to wait, and once it bites, then you reel it in.
just like that. We're catching a few various panfish here just because it wants us to practice. All right, time for a real catch. Open the inventory to change your bait for a bigger fish. Press X to set the worms as the bait. Now let's go to the local shop keeper. So it's showing you how to shop and how to buy things. Now we're going to go back to the map. And it's showing you how to switch places, pegs on the map as it were. Now we're going to go to the middle of the bridge and it's going to have us catch, I think, a bass. Could be wrong though, it could be something else, but I think it's a bass. Alright, so it's telling you it's on its side because the bait has hit the bottom. And it's going to tell us how to adjust our leader. So we're going to decrease our leader down to 19 inches. And we're going to come back and cast it again. And we're going to wait. Part of fishing is waiting. Got something over there playing with it. Fish is on. Bring him in. Now he's putting up a little bit of a fight here. And it's a bass. I'm sorry, it's a white crappie, a trophy white crappie, my mistake. I thought it was a bass. Anyway, we're definitely going to keep that. And there you go, we made it to level two. Each time you go up a level, you unlock, you can unlock more lakes, you can unlock, you get money, you get bait coins, and you can unlock new gear. Each time you level up, you'll unlock more gear. It says open the lake map to continue your adventures. And now we can leave the lake. So basically this was just showing you this is what you do. To Basically you go to the water, you have the right tackle, you bring your tackle out. And you cast it out. That's basically what you do. It's fishing, I mean. Anyway, that's a completed mission. That's the tutorial. So hooray for that. And now it's going to give us a new mission. It will give us various missions throughout. There's one, most of, there's always one that's considered an explorer mission. Where it will give you a list of different species of fish to catch. And you just have to catch one of each species. However, each time that you go to the lake, you may as well just fish for the whole day. Try to make some extra money. Just money is what you know, allows you to go to different places in the game. You have to pay for the trip and you have to pay for a license. So these are important things to do. So mission number one, Long Star Trip. Long Star Lake welcomes you with its air peace and tranquility anytime. Let's head over there right now to learn and master the basic fishing, the game of basic fishing. We're going to track the mission, and it's going to tell us to go to Lone Star Lake, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to travel to Lone Star. Lone Star doesn't cost you any money. It's basically your backyard pond or your backyard lake. It doesn't cost any money to travel there. It doesn't cost any money to fish there. You do have to get a license, I believe, but once you get your license, you can fish in Texas anytime. So we're going to go fishing in this location here. And I think it's going to have us fishing for bigger fish. I don't know. I could be wrong. Could just have us be filling up a... 
Lone Star Ranger 1. Try ex enjoy exploring Lone Star Lake <clears throat> and its premise for a certain number of days to complete this challenge. And we completed that challenge, so. Yeah, there's a hundred bucks. Alright, it wants us to go over to the. Keep working on what alone. You're gonna go right here. All right. So that completed that. That's two hundred and twenty more dollars and one coin for just walking along the uh, waterway. And you'll be using those skills a lot. It's just it's just basically making sure you knew how to move. All right, perfect time. Fish activity usually depends on the weather and time of the day. Study the weather forecast and bite charts, and learn to use the fast forward time function to ensure the best possible fishing conditions. The higher the curve chart, the more active the fish will be at that time. So we're going to open up our weather forecast, and we're going to see that. Early in the morning from 5 to 9 is good fishing time, and from about 5 p.m. to dark is good fishing time. They'll do the most biting during those times, so those are the times you really want to fish. But again, even in the lowest times, you can still get bites. It just takes longer. And you can fast forward time if you choose, but like I said, when once you actually get free roam and you can fish anywhere you want, you're going to want to stay and try to get a day's worth of fish and bring home a... I, you know some money all right now it's going to tell us to fast forward time and it's going to tell us to fast forward to 6 a.m which is an hour away which we did and that gives us 220 rewards some crickets and one bitcoin Different lures attract fish in different ways. Try using crickets to catch a red ear sunfish. It has a particular taste for insect baits. These fish go out to feed closer to the shore near the lily pads. You'll need a keep net to keep your catch and sell it at the end of the day. So we're going to bring out the crickets. And we're going to cast right there in the marked spot. And we're going to try to catch this red-eared sunfish with the old crickets. Got one. And we got ourselves a red-eared sunfish. We're going to keep it in the keep net. And that completes that mission. You did well, but don't stop now. There's still much, still so much to learn to make your fishing experience more interesting. That's another 220 coins and another bait coin. First five, time to check how well you've mastered these new skills. Go and catch five fish of any kind in the spots you already know. The reward you'll get at the end of the day for the fish you catch will provide you with more resources for future travel. They're going to give us dough balls when we complete this. Let's just keep going after these red ears soon. We're already set up for it. You can zoom into the bobber by pressing R1 if you so choose. I don't care. Wait for it. There's the bite. Get him in. And we got ourselves a red ear sunfish. That's one fish. And it takes us up to level 3. That's $1,500 and another bait coin. We've also unlocked Lassini Vila Fishery in the Czech Republic. And a whole bunch of new items. Some new baits, some new clothes, a jacket, keep nets, all sorts of stuff has been unlocked with that one. Frozen cut bait, I mean all sorts of stuff. We'll get to that later. We'll go through each item as I use them. It would take all night just to go through that list. So Anyway, we need to catch five more fish using the crickets as bait. So We need four more. 
So we're just going to keep doing what we did been doing and just sort of wait around for the fish to bite. wait for it to come back it messed with it and didn't, didn't take it there we go fish on all right we're gonna keep him in the fish keeper lucky bobber one perform a certain number of successful strikes in a row and that gives you a bait coin bait coins by the way are coins you can use in the shop to buy specially selected items the really good stuff cost bait coins if you choose you can actually pay real money to buy bait coins so you do have that option but you know oh fish on Sorry about that. Hopefully that doesn't get me in trouble. I didn't mean for that to be playing. I had a Facebook post start making noise that I didn't expect. Alright. Anyway, here's another fish. We got what? One more, two more, one more. We get one more and then we're done. There's the last one. And mine and open the inventory to check the keep net. Wrong button. There we go, new missions will be added to the tab mission during the game. Like that. If you leave the lake, you'll get paid for the fish and receive tutorial missions for the new waterways. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to leave the lake. Next mission, assemble a sinker rig. Let's assemble a tack the tackle for a bottom for bottom fishing on Leslie Villa Fishery. Always remember to upgrade your keep net to have more room for fish storage and make your fishing trips more profitable. You can sell your catch only at the end of the day or when you leave the waterway. Keep in mind that you can switch your keep net only in the menu on the global map. In other words, whatever keep net you keep. That's what you're stuck with. All right, so that's done. And now we gotta assemble stuff for a uh, sinker rig which is what it's going to have us do we can also do a spinning rig there's also the Lone Star Explorer which has us looking for some Star Lake most of these sunfish can be brought in using the baits that we do have which are doe ball crickets, red worms, 
and bread bait. I believe most of these can be found that way. I'm looking to see, let's see. Yeah, all the rest of those can be brought in the same way. Of course, what the baits we had, so we could go ahead and do that. We do have the panfish trophy collection, which that is just simply trying to find a panfish, a pumpkin, a bluegill, or ready, or just getting trophies of these. That will just happen the more you play. You'll just manage to catch all the trophies you need. But eventually, we can kind of work our way in the direction of doing so. Oh, uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We can do the synchro rig now, or we can... Uh, tell you what, I'm going to untrack this, and I'm going to do this one for a minute, just because I want to show... I want to show y'all a little bit, see, I want to show, show, you know, a regular fishing trip that you just take. So it's going to tell you to open the fish panel to see information about the uh, target fish, what they like, things like that. Which, I mean, I have pretty much what we'll need for this. We're going to go right back over here where we were. And we're going to throw different baits out for a little while and see. If we can catch. Some of these other baits. Some, or some of these other fish. I should say not the other baits. But some of these other fish. Because <clears throat> this first one is nothing but pan fish. And it shouldn't be that hard to catch them. right crappie that takes us to level four that's 1500 another mudwater river and some more coins switching over to some dough balls we're going to throw some dough balls around for a little bit i think that'll get us our shiners Throw them out here a little ways and see. We'll see if something takes them. We'll see what happens. A lot of fish take the dough ball. A lot of fish take the worm. A lot of, I mean, these panfish, they'll eat about anything you throw out there.
see what we got here. Oh, that's a bluegill. Alright, well. And what I like to do is just kind of work my way down the shore, cast them out periodically. And just see what bites. I'll go a little ways down here and there. Switch my bait to up. Oh, I got a fish on. About to miss the bite. Because I hadn't I didn't have my hand on the controller. Shoot. That's my fault. I missed the bite. That was my fault. I didn't think I was gonna get a bite that quick and I had a drink out. Oh, my line snagged. from this so we're not getting snagged the whole time there we go <coughs> oh come on now how is it snagged when oh there that should get me unsnagged oh, oh excuse me did not mean to belch in the mic like that <coughs> that's something playing with it bluegill yeah, another white crappie another trophy crappie we're definitely picking up those and that's good it'll it'll work for now we can only hold four pounds worth of fish with our keep net I probably should have gotten a bigger keep net for this but it's okay we'll finish this round up and then we'll go get a bit better keep net that way we can catch a few more fish before we have to leave. And like I said, we'll kind of work our way around the water. I'm working with dough ball right now, but eventually I'll switch to something else. Definitely got shown, showing some interest. Got him. Whatever he was. Another crappie. Evidently, this is a good spot to catch trophy crappie. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool, actually. And that unlocks Rocky Lake now that we went up another level. So we're starting to unlock several lakes now, which is going to unlock a lot more tutorials. A lot more tutorials. I'll get it out in a minute. another one biting but apparently yeah this is a pretty good spot with dough balls that to uh, hook into some nice size crappie apparently Let's see what we got this time this is another one nah this is just regular old bluegill alright well looks like I can hold one more fish so I might as well just cast out there again and then I'm gonna go look into a new keep net because we need something a little bigger than what we got there's one of our fish we needed a black tail shiner <coughs> all right and i can actually hold one more fish i may not be able to keep that one but i can hold it i'm still looking for that green sunfish and the Golden Shiner. Got something else playing again. So the bites come pretty quickly, especially a panfish. Now other fish you may have to wait a little while, but panfish tend to bite pretty quickly. And that's the same in real life. If you're ever sitting out by a dock or out pan fishing somewhere, you'll... There's another nice size white crappie. Another trophy. Alright, so our keep net's full, which means we got to leave. 
But we did come out with about 600 bucks there, just on mostly trophy crappie. Mm, excuse me. So with that being said, let's uh, see, we need two more fish. I want to go to the shop real quick, and I want to get, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I want to go to keep nets, and I want to upgrade our keep net. I'll go ahead and buy the level 4 keep net which allows us to hold up to 15 pounds of fish which is a little more for the pan fishing we're doing the number beside the star by the way is the level at which the item becomes unlocked you cannot buy them until then so right now we're kind of stuck with the 15 pound keep net now we can go to our inventory, which we're going to do now, and we can switch this keep net out, which we're going to do, as soon as I find it, it's in here somewhere, bet you it's at the home, it is, so we're going to switch this keep net out, and we're going to go ahead and sell the extra small, because we won't be using that again, you can get 20 bucks out of it. And we're going to use the, the bigger one. And we're going to continue with what we were doing now. And we got a little more. Uh, got a little bit more. Uh, to hold fish. So we can catch a few more. And try to complete this. We don't need but two more fish. So, Oh excuse me. I've had heartburn for the last few hours. So. I apologize if I start hiccuping, which I might be getting ready to do. Yep, looks like it. They'll stop here in a few minutes. They don't usually last all that long. They're just strong. So yeah, we're going to try to catch these fish. And we, should, we shouldn't have too much trouble with it. I mean, the last two are not that hard to find. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I can't help it. That's all I can say. So let me go back, back to the uh, fish species menu, and we need a green sunfish. So I need to get back over here. What does he want? Oh, salmonella balls? Crap! I don't have those. I don't think. Or semiola balls, as I think I was pronounced. Now the golden shiner bites dough balls, so I sh should be able to catch it. But I don't think I have semiola balls yet. I don't. I'm sure if I can buy them yet. Nope, I cannot. Okay. Well, then I will have to worry about doing that later. Because I cannot buy them yet. So I don't really have the bait that the <coughs> that the sunfish is going to go for. Mm.
a little bite. There we go. And it's a bluegill. It's not what I'm looking for. Let me switch baits up. No, I don't want to switch baits up. That's right. Because it said he went after doe balls. I just got to wait for one to bite. I'll check. I'll move around a little bit here in a minute. No, they're not biting here, so we're going to move down a little ways. Cast out here a little ways and see what happens. Try a few different locations. Fill this bag up one more time. Something beating the dog crap out of that thing, but won't eat it. There it goes. Finally took it. That's a trophy bluegill. He wasn't exactly what we were going after, but again. So I don't complain about trophies. Let's see what's over here. that's the green sunfish that wasn't even the one I was going after that's the one I wasn't supposed to be able to get the bite but he took it who would have thought okay well now we're just looking for the golden shiner if we can get the golden shiner to bite we're, we're golden no pun intended 